Welcome to the session. Um, so we'll start over again, yeah, uh, to talk about Green Fins Egypt. Uh, so uh, I'm Lena, first of all, and uh, I'm speaking to you from Sharm el Sheikh uh, in South Sinai in Egypt. Um, so Green Fins is a, an environmental uh, certification uh, for dive members, uh, dive centers, snorkel centers, and liverboards. And uh, it's an international certification that we've managed to launch last year in, um, in Egypt. And we've managed to certify a few members as uh, our first eco-friendly uh, dive operators in the country. Uh, and uh, we're quite happy about that. Um, so the purpose of this program is to create a network of um, mindful, environmentally mindful dive centers and together to try to build a, um, a sustainable network and provide the sector with solutions so that they can be more environmentally friendly and reduce their impacts on the sea as much as possible. Because sometimes, you know, it's uh, sometimes it's the way the dive center operates and sometimes it's the fact that dive centers is not given the solutions for them to be um, eco-friendly. So we look at things as how you use your engine oil and dispose of it, uh, marine litter such as plastic pollution and chemical pollution. Uh, we look at just behavior of boats, dive guides, dive guests and people and uh, general awareness um, and uh, because what we have here in the Red Sea um, is really worth protecting I mean we can kind of see everything, everything from the really big marine mammals to whale sharks to sharks all types turtles uh, dolphins uh, like lots of mola mola sightings have been going around recently uh, which is cool um and uh, and rays so we have everything including uh, somewhat healthy corals we haven't experienced much massive bleaching so uh, our reefs are really worth protecting because they're they're quite healthy um and the reverse side of this all is that we have a really huge dive industry over like 600 dive centers so you can pick and choose and um so it was high time that we start uh, a kind of like a green environmentally friendly program for these centers so that uh, we have at least some that are uh, working towards con conservation. Uh, so we really are promoting this and uh, hope that this program uh, will grow and expand over the coming year. Uh, so um, the more we expand, the more we can create a network and find solutions, whether it's citizen science, so that like all of the dive centers, but they see a whale shark or like a mago shark, or um, they can take a picture and they can kind of like put it in a database to kind of understand where are they migrating from, maybe identify them, maybe share this with like, uh, researchers who are curious to, to research marine life in the Red Sea. Uh, divers can also help us identify dive sites that are bleaching uh, because they're out at sea every day. Or, for example, the other day, a uh, Greenfins member messaged me saying, Hey, we found a few crown of thorns in this dive site in Sharm el Sheikh. What do we do? So, we're all now thinking of, okay, what to do um, to kind of hope we don't have an invasion. Um, things like that, uh, because uh, we really need to promote these uh, dive centers and dive guides who want to be active and want to help in conservation efforts, because there are so many others that really just don't care, who are in it for the money only and not for the love of the sea. So this program uh, really kind of helps them distinguish uh, these active conscious and cool dive centers from the others uh, so yeah we really hope that if you ever come dive in the red sea uh, you can uh, dive 
with one of those members so that at least you uh, can be environmentally conscious and don't have to worry uh, about harming our sea and actually have a good time. Um, if you have any questions, do let me uh, know. Um, with the pandemic, we're hoping that things get better and that we can assess more dive centers uh, in 2021. Um, and in the meanwhile, we'll work on trying to finding solutions for the sector to promote like eco-friendly um, solutions, just generally in uh, in the amongst the diving community. Um, there are also ways um, so. Greenfins Egypt works differently than other Greenfins programs in our neighboring countries. Uh, here, because our sector is so big, like we have so many dive operators and so many boats, we have over 2,000 boats that work in tourism in the Red Sea, and that's like a lot. So, um, and we did not make the program easy for members to become a member of. Uh, so we put like a minimum score and they have to pass this assessment. Um, and once they pass the assessment, uh, they can become a member and they need to pass a certain score. Um, yes, uh, so I hope you come to the Red Sea too one day. I don't know where you're located, but uh, I mean, we have flights coming here at the moment and do come in summer because that's our best diving season. Um, how can you know? So if you check out the Greenfins website, all of our, uh, and you go to Egypt, uh, we're in Japan now, <laughs> nice. I like that country as well. I've been there once and uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, so just go to the Greenfins website, click on Egypt and uh, you will find all of the dive centers that are certified listed there and uh, we have a few in all of the main diving destinations in the country uh, so please do book with them uh, yeah uh, so uh, yeah we hope that maybe next year next summer you can come uh, come visit us here in uh, in egypt uh, yeah uh, so, and because we're making the process a bit difficult for dive centers to be a member, uh, to become a member, um, it uh, really supports those who are making an effort to be environmentally friendly. Uh, so how to distinguish them? So you'll find them on our, the Greenfins website, but also uh, they'll have a flag. So we're only giving the Greenfins uh, certified members a flag, which they can be kind of um, proud of, and the flag has the Greenfins logo that you find on the website. Um, so yeah, this is to answer your question. Um, and uh, if you have any other questions, I'm open uh, to listening and answering your questions. And I'm kind of uh, pretty much done here with the presentation. Uh, so we really hope in the coming years we have like a green movement in the Red Sea and uh, find solutions to protecting uh, our corals and marine life. Yeah, so thanks, Kareem, for, uh, for listening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you too, have a good day. Yes, have a look at your website. We don't have many um, dive operators at the moment because we're about to launch the program fully in uh, March. And then we had the lockdown and no tourists and no one diving. So uh, we're kind of projecting everything towards, I mean, this month, starting this month and, um, and in the coming years. Yeah, I think there were plans to have green fins in Japan. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, I really think that this program and certificate uh, would be available um, in every diving uh, destination in the world.
because it's highly needed because I mean just even really small changes that a dive operator or a dive guide can do can make a huge uh, difference um, on on the sea. And, uh, since I mean I don't know if you guys have been diving but I've been diving in a few destinations and yeah the sea has taken a really big um, impact uh, from the way we we take we care for it so yeah, we all have a role to play. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no worries. Cheers, Karine. See ya. Hello again. So, uh, hi, Stephen. So, um, I kind of just finished the presentation, but if you want to have a listen, I can go over it uh, one more time uh, to talk about Greenfin's Egypt and the recent launch of the sustainable, eco friendly uh, certificate in the country, and uh, mainly in the Red Sea. Uh, so we launched, we launched it last year, last summer, certifying a few dive members, uh, dive centers uh, in Horgada, Sharm and uh, Dahab. And what it is, it's pretty much uh, an eco-friendly certification for dive operators. Um, I don't know if you've been diving in the Red Sea, but uh, I mean, we have quite an impressive kind of unique uh, sea. Uh, with crazy topographies, uh, dive sites that go at every depth, lots of wreck, uh, dives, um, corals that are still healthy in comparison to other places. I mean, we haven't experienced massive bleaching yet. Uh, sort of warm waters that go from 20 to 31 degrees, depending on your season. Um, Clear, crystal clear visibility and lots of marine life. I mean, from whale sharks uh, to dolphin pods of Indo-Pacific to bottlenose dolphins, uh, lots of rays, uh, lots of sharks, uh, lots of mola mola sightings this summer has been like all over the place. Um, and just lots of life. So it's worth, um, it's worth protecting and uh, green fins is a good program for dive centers to learn how they can reduce their impact on the Red Sea um, and participate in activism and sort of uh, ways that they can uh, play a part in conservation. Uh, so if you check out our website, the green fins website and you click on Egypt, you'll find the certified members. Uh, we're about to officially launch the program in March. But then COVID hit and the lockdown and no more tourism, blah, blah, blah. So we're aiming to have like a re to relaunch the project starting this winter. And hopefully we'll have lots of members uh, certified by next year uh, so that uh, when people come to book in the Red Sea, they have um, lots of options uh, of certified uh, environmentally conscious members. Because uh, our industry here in Egypt is so big, I mean, we have over 600 snorkel diving centers and liverboards, and over 2,000 boats in the Red Sea. So that's a lot. Um, and as you can imagine, that some of them care about the Red Sea, others work in diving or in the in this type of tourism activities. They're just in it for the money. So uh, this program is really here to help. Uh, promote and support uh, those who are trying to make an effort uh, and help uh, provide solutions for them. Yeah, so uh, next time you come diving at the Red Sea, uh, do book with one of them. Uh, like
like this, uh, like this, they get more support. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Stephen. Yeah. Have a good day. And if you have any questions, let me know. This session is on for another uh, five minutes or 10 minutes. Yeah.